troubles and I wanted to be able to turn them into movies and series. And we couldn't find any place in that network or studio that would actually take the risk on a romance novel because most of the decisions are made by men in Hollywood and they didn't see a value really in adapting romance novels, which is ridiculous. Um, and so we started our own distribution platform, raised money and, and you know, and now we adapt novels, which is great. And very particularly different from other places is we work incredibly closely with our authors because I love them and I get to be friends with the people that I'm fans of. Um, and, and we want them involved in every aspect from script writing to locations to um, actors every single thing, every line that I change in a script, I run it by the author. I just want to make sure that this is how the character would speak. It's really important for me to have that relationship with them because it means that we're adapting the books exactly as the author would like and therefore exactly as the fan would like. So that's what makes us different. Yeah. Euh, les romances qu'elle a adorées en série télé et puis en, en téléfilm. Euh, il n'y avait pas de place euh, pour euh, l'adaptation de romances parce que euh, certains considèrent que c'est un, un risque à prendre d'adapter de la romance sur grand écran. Par exemple, Hollywood ne, ne voit pas la valeur d'adapter de la romance euh, pour un public euh, qui adore la romance. Euh, elle a commencé donc cette plateforme euh, qui est complètement différente des autres endroits. Elle travaille euh, très étroitement avec les auteurs. Elle veut qu'ils soient, qu soient impliqués, que ce soit dans le choix des lieux, des acteurs, des répliques. Et même au niveau des scénarios, dès qu'il y a un changement dans les répliques, elle demande l'accord de l'auteur. Euh, elle veut que le livre soit adapté vraiment comme l'aimerait l'auteur. So nice oui. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joni et Tassa, You met before Passion Flix even launched. And Jody, I want to ask you, what was it about meeting Tasa, talking about Passion Flix? What got you to agree to option two of your books to Passion Flix, which hasn't even launched? Sorry, The Protector and then This Man series. I think for any author to um, be approached to have their book adapted to movie is very exciting, but equally as scary because you are handing over the responsibility to someone, the beloved characters that you've created, you've lived with, um, your fans love and have lived with, and trusting them to do the best job. And with Tosca, because she's so passionate about it being as close as it possibly can be to the book, um, it's a no-brainer for me, really. Um, in fact, a conversation we had yesterday, Tosca and I, about how terrifying it would be just to hand over something and say, bye, <laughs> and then have absolutely nothing to do with it until you actually see it on screen with the rest of your, your fans. Um, that, that makes me shudder, <laughs> it really does. So having such involvement is just, it's an incredible privilege for a start um, and just an amazing experience. And I just got that sense from Passion Flick straight away, the passion to make it as close as possible. Simple. sont rencontrés euh, pour parler euh, de l'adaptation donc il y a eu euh, The Protector et This Man qui est en train de se faire actuellement. Euh, pourquoi la, pourquoi Jody a choisi et accepté d'adapter ses romans sur Passion Flix euh, Le but était qu'il y ait une approche la plus proche du livre et c'est une expérience qui est à la fois géniale et effrayante parce qu'on donne la responsabilité à quelqu'un d'adapter euh, ses personnages à l'écran. Ce sont des, perso des, des personnages qui sont adorés par les fans et il faut donc faire confiance à la personne pour qu'elle fasse son job correctement. 
Euh, Tosca est passionnée par ce qu'elle fait, elle veut être au plus proche du, du livre. Il y a eu de nombreuses conversations entre elles euh, et elle lui a fait part de sa, sa peur euh, de, de lui donner la main entre guillemets sur son roman et ses personnages. Mais, euh, mais parce qu'il y a les fans qui ont une image particulière euh, de, des romans et des personnages. Mais ici, c'est vraiment incroyable de faire ce travail avec Tosca parce qu'il euh, y a de la passion et elle, vraiment, elle veut vraiment être au plus proche euh, de, du roman et de l'histoire. And going into it a little further, Tosca and Jody, can you talk a little bit more in detail about the process of how we adapt the films when it comes to the script and casting and all of the little details that we include in the Passion Play Trilogy? Sure. Well, the first thing we do is um, when once we have the book, we send it out to a writer, and the screenwriter will write a draft of the script, and then we'll read it at Passion Flicks, and make notes for any where they may have diverted a little bit from this book at all and then we send it back to the writer and we're like okay now put it closer to the book these are the things that you missed and then after we get the next draft we send it to the author and the author will read it and say we want this line i don't need this line this is not what i i would prefer to see it this way or whatever it is whatever um, sections that they like or that we've missed and then we send it back to the writer they then rewrite it and then they send it to me and then I go with a fine tooth comb line by line by line in the book compared to the script and then I communicate with the author and I go hey I know you took these lines out but can we put them back in <laughs> um, and that's when we do the script <laughs> Yeah, but, well because so we're sitting there today we're going through the script for this man H have you guys read this man Yeah. 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 So we're going through the script for this man. Sorry, this is going to be a long answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have so many drafts of the script. And, and so I'm looking at it, I'm like, OK, so you know, I know that we took out her saying, oh, OK, but can we put those back in? Or whatever line it was like, you said in the book it says, um, what line did they, we were talking about today? So many, so many. There's the, there's a you and me. There's the this. There's these different lines. I'm like, can we put these back in? But they're the significant, like, significant lines that are so recognised. And sometimes just by removing a O O K can make such an impact on the delivery from the actor, which is something I learned on the set of The Protector. So now, of course, I'm an expert. I mean, <laughs> but yeah. Donc là, on va parler du processus, comment, ça, comment on passe euh, bon, du, du script, comment on fait le casting. Donc Tosta, Tosca pardon, <rire> explique que ça passe d'abord par un scénariste qui va faire euh, un premier, une première ébauche euh, d'un script. Ensuite, on va de, demander euh, à l'écrivain, à l'auteur, s'il est OK avec ce premier script. Euh, voir s'il si ne manque rien par rapport au livre, euh, si l'auteur est OK, il le lit, euh, s'il y a des problèmes, eh ben, on le dit également, on regarde après euh, section par section, ce qu'il faut qu'on change, ce qu'il faut qu'on ajoute. Euh, cette ébauche-là est envoyée à Tosca, qui le regarde réplique par réplique, et s'il y a certaines répliques qui ne sont pas mises, ben, on va voir pour les remettre. Euh, depuis hier, elles ont beaucoup parlé du script de This Man, euh, il y a eu beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup d'ébauches, euh, parfois, il y a des, certaines scènes qui sont enlevées et puis euh, on demande à les remettre, s'il te plaît, s'il te plaît, pour le remettre. Hein. Euh, parce qu'il y a des, des choses qui fonctionnent dans un livre, mais euh, il faut que ce soit là. Et parfois, comme Jody le dit, euh, il faut que ces sens. Elle a appris avec, notamment avec le protecteur que parfois certaines scènes dans un livre fonctionnent parfaitement, mais à l'écran, il faut apprendre à, à, le, à mieux le, le rendre. And I'll just ask one more question since it seems like we have a lot of This Man fans in here. Um, had, did everyone see that we recently revealed who will be playing our Jesse? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Jody, um, can you tell us a little bit about the casting process from oh. your perspective? Because as Tasa mentioned, we do involve the authors in everything. <laughs> process. Um, I cry a lot. <laughs> um, many 
uh, emergency text messages to Tosca saying, oh my God, are we ever gonna find him? <laughs> and Tosca saying, patience, he will be here. <laughs> and he was. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, I knew um, the moment I saw him that I would know. And I had that immediately with Tyler. So it was, um, yeah, perfect. So perfect. And, and we searched the whole world, by the way. We went to every single country. We pulled, we were like all over the UK, all over Australia, Canada, US. We looked everywhere for him. We have auditions from people from all over the world. And every single time we came super close, well, what about this guy? No, he's not Jesse. Every single time. And then I got this random email from on a Friday night, I think, and um, and my our casting director said, I think I may have found him, <laughs> and um, and then I forwarded it off to Jody, and I was like, Oh my god, <laughs> did not you find him? You don't want to get excited because you just never know what's going to happen in this world, and I tried my hardest not to get excited because just from because he hadn't auditioned at that point, had he? We just saw him, and when we first saw him, he was bearded and so entirely different. But I still knew, and it was just so bizarre. It was so bizarre, and then he auditioned, and it was just like, swoon. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Donc là, on parle du casting euh, de, du héros de This Man, Jesse Ward, euh, Tyler Cook. Yes. Cook. Euh, donc en fait, Jody explique que le casting a été très stressant, elle a beaucoup pleuré, euh, il y a eu beaucoup d'échanges d'SMS en urgence, euh, mais Tosca lui a dit, c'est pas ça, il va arriver, on va le trouver. Euh, et en fait, quand elles l'ont vu, elles l'ont su, euh, qu'il était vraiment parfait. Euh, Tosca explique euh, qu'elle a cherché vraiment dans le monde entier, dans tous les, les, les pays possibles, au Canada, aux états unis etc. Euh, mais elle n'arrivait pas à trouver celui qui était parfait. Euh, ils étaient pas mal, mais c'était pas Jesse. Et puis d'un seul coup, elle a eu un mail, et le, le directeur de casting a dit « on l'a trouvé ». Et effectivement, quand ils l'ont vu, ils se sont dit « oh my god <rire> ». <rire> Donc euh, Jesse était vraiment très excitée, et quand euh, ils l'ont vu en vrai, c'était un petit peu bizarre, mais c'était vraiment génial. Thank you. And just for the record, Jody was concerned that nobody here would know who she was, so <laughs> we were very wrong. <laughs> because apparently this man is not published in French yet, so yeah. just have to ask about that. I just wanted to open it up if any of you have any questions for Jody or for Tosca. And it's gonna be hard to see, but if anyone does, please raise your hand. Okay. Oh, I do see I see one hand. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for a while. <laughs> Hello, um, it would be in English since I speak English, also the French. Which part of the book, this man you're looking forward to see on the screen? <laughs> That's just too much, isn't it? <laughs> Every scene, and this was a, this a big book. Um, it's a big book, and generally screenplays are 100 pages-ish. Um, 152. Oh, oops. Um, and it's, there was just no way to, to cut any because there's so many iconic scenes, but the one that really, really stands out to me in the script especially um, is the one where, because it's fun, I suppose, and it's the, one of the times where you see, uh, I mean, he's always neurotic and crazy, but in this particular scene, he's particularly neurotic particularly crazy and um, when he hijacks Ava's office um, and hijacks her diary and puts his name in every page and I just can't wait to see Ava looking completely and utterly struck <laughs> what is he doing as he casually writes through her diary silly little thing but I'm really looking forward to that one Uh, 
I'm gonna say, can I say who mine is? Yeah. I'm very excited about um, the mini suite for the first time that she when she goes oh. to. I, I would say that I'm excited. I'm terrified <laughs> to make that scene because it has to be perfect and has to make sense. But the scene where Jesse comes out of the bathroom after Ava's been working with John in the um, just off the um, extension. And then he's like, oh, I just want to show you one of the rooms. And she walks into that mini suite. And she's looking around, she's like, oh, this is really beautiful. And then Jesse walks out of the bathroom. She's like, oh, that's gonna be good. Donc on demande à Tosca et à Jody quelles sont les parties du livre qu'elles veulent absolument voir dans l'adaptation. Donc Jody dit qu'elle veut voir toutes les scènes. Euh, puisque c'est un, un roman qui est assez conséquent euh, et le script fait à peu près 152 pages, donc ça a été complètement réduit. C'est difficile pour Jody de se dire, euh, euh, de, de couper une scène alors qu'elle a écrit de nombreuses scènes et qu'elle aimerait qu'elle soit toute présente, même si ce n'est pas possible. Euh, la scène qu'elle veut voir, donc c'est dans le bureau, euh, c'est Office of Jack. Office. Ok, donc dans un bureau, euh, et il y a un souci avec euh, les noms, et elle dit, elle, il lui dit, mais qu'est-ce qu'il est en train de faire c est, c est, Elle veut vraiment voir les, des choses, des détails un petit peu insignifiants, un peu euh, bébêtes, entre guillemets, mais, euh, mais elle veut tout les voir. Et quant à Tosca, euh, c'est la scène où euh, l'héroïne voit euh, le, le héros pour la première fois, euh, Baston voilà. euh, Il sort d'une salle de bain. <rire> oh, Baston ou Antoine um, I was wondering, we had uh, questions on the live last week, and we so I asked you um, if Tyler read This Man, and you said yes, but it's a good book. And I was wondering if um, you think it would be a good idea to let him read this woman, because when there are so so many things that Jesse knows but Ava doesn't. So, yeah, he's read many parts of this woman again. It's a big book, um, but yeah, Tosca and I had a discussion um, because this man is from Ava's perspective, and the script obviously is. Um, even more condensed. Um, it was really important for Tyler to understand Jesse in order to be able to portray him the best. So I, we sent him the pages um, from some pages from this woman when I was editing it. I was kind of thinking, yeah, this bit's helpful, maybe this bit's helpful. Um, yeah, and it, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> Euh, donc la question qui était posée, c'est est-ce euh, que Tyler est vraiment cet homme, this man, c'est le titre de, du roman, euh, et elle voulait savoir si euh, Tyler a lu This Woman, qui est donc euh, le, le livre, mais de la, du point de vue de l'héroïne, euh, parce qu'il euh, sait des choses, mais pas elle. Hein. Euh, Tosca et Jody ont une discussion à ce, à ce sujet, puisqu'on a un film le, selon le point de vue d'un homme, euh, mais c'était aussi important pour l'acteur, Tyler, de voir ce que euh, l'héroïne pense à certains moments. Et donc, il a lu quelques pages de, selon le point, avec le point de vue de l'héroïne dans This Woman. Oui, bonsoir. Euh, donc je voulais vous poser une question sur euh, le film Desman. Est-ce que le tournage de Desman a commencé Et une question à la suite. Euh, Est-ce que ce sera filmé de la même manière que Gabriel Inferno C'est-à-dire euh, le premier volet du, du livre tourné en trois, en trois films, euh, en trois parties. Voilà. Merci. So, she asks if uh, you started the shooting of this man. And if you started, uh, will it be like for Gabriel's uh, Rapture and Inferno, and you will divide the the, um, the book into different films? <laughs> no, I haven't started filming yet. We start filming in about three weeks, and 
<laughs> and uh, um, it is not likely to be like Gabriel's Inferno that's divided into three parts. I, we've had this discussion, so it's a very long script. Um, so normally a two hour movie is about 100 pages and ours is 150 pages, so it's gonna be long. So it might be as long as a three hour movie, but um, Ali won't let me divide it into two. <laughs> but she, she, because she's a fan. No, <laughs> I keep saying that I'm gonna divide it, and she's like, it's gonna be a very long movie. It's not actually gonna get to be a long movie. She wants to be a long movie. I, well, and she's my boss, clearly. <laughs> Well, no, this, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to make it, it's going to be, we're going to, the way that I like to make movies is that I don't, I don't want to rush anything and I want to make sure that everything's in there. And when we see it, and this is what happened with Gabriel's Inferno, we did not intend for it to be three movies. But when we watched it, it was so long and so glorious and we didn't want to trim anything. But instead, we decided to add more into it and divide it into three. And the same with this man. When we watch it, we'll see how the characters play and we'll see how the movie lays out. But I won't cut anything from it. So we have to be able to sit through a three hour movie and feel happy to do that, as opposed to, boy, I really think that it could take a break now. And if we need to take a break, then we will divide it in half. But if we don't need to take a break, then we will play the whole thing. Yeah, I was going to add to that from from the fans. Obviously, I see a lot of what the fans are saying. There, there is something Gabriel's Inferno is lovely, and it works so lovely in parts. But there are a lot of people will say, "I want to be able to go in and sit down and watch a movie in one sitting." So I think it's it's going to be wonderful either way. Whatever you decide to do, it's going to be great. But it is it's very interesting to see how many people prefer to sit down in one sitting. Like I, you know, there's a lot of people that haven't watched. Gabriel's um, Rapture Part 1 or 2 yet because they want to wait for the third one to come out. So, yeah, it's it's very interesting to hear everybody's perspective on that. Donc, euh... La question, je vais aller très vite. Je me sens. Oui. oui. C'est bon, oui. <laughs> Donc, euh, le tournage n'a pas encore commencé. Um... Et euh, non, euh, pour l'instant, Tosca n'a pas l'intention d'utiliser de, de, la même démarche qu'elle a utilisée pour Gabriel. Euh, même si c'est un long script, en général, un long script peut faire aussi un long film. Euh, en plaisantant, elle dit que Ali ne veut pas deux films, euh, mais ça sera, que ce sera un long film. Euh, elle, Tosca veut prendre son temps, euh, elle veut voir faire le film, ne pas se précipiter. Euh, au départ, pour Gabriel's Inferno et Gabriel's Rapture, ils n'avaient pas l'intention de faire trois films. Mais en fait, au moment de visionner euh, les rushs, bah, ils se sont rendus compte qu'ils ne pouvaient pas couper euh, certaines scènes. Donc voilà pourquoi il y a eu différentes parties. Euh, pour This Man, euh, Tosca verra comment les personnages vont prendre vie au niveau de l'écran. Si on a besoin de faire une pause, il y aura différentes parties. Sinon, non. Euh, et enfin, Ali explique euh, que c'est agréable la façon dont a été tournée euh, Gabriel, mais que pour certains, pour certaines personnes, pour certains fans, fans pardon, ils préfèrent euh, regarder le film d'un seul coup. Euh, c'est intéressant aussi de voir que certaines personnes, par exemple, n'ont pas encore vu euh, l'intégralité de Gabriel's euh, Rapture, puisque euh, seules deux parties sont disponibles euh, et pas les trois. Et certains préfèrent regarder les trois d'un coup. Evening ladies. Um, it's really a general question. Well, no. I love what you did with um, Emma Chase's Tangled, because that's one of my favourite series. Are you planning to do the next two books? Please. <laughs> please. The next two books in the Tangled series? Mm -hmm. Right now we're not planning on doing those. Why? <laughs> Because I didn't option them yet, but I love Emma Chase, so I'd be happy with her again. Just have a word. Just have a word. We'll have a word. But we're going to do Royally Screwed first. Yeah. And the, so the Royally series is the first thing that I actually read of Emma's, and that's how I got to know her. And I love that Royally series. And then, I, again, we were new when we first optioned from Emma, and I didn't think that she would let us option Tangled. And then she did, and that's why we made Tangled first. Um, and now we're going to go and make Royally Screwed. 
so it's the same similar relationship we had so we did the protect first and then we did yeah so for thing. jody how did you feel the first time you saw the protector how did i feel like, yeah when you saw it all oh gosh i, I watched the like uncut was it is that what we call it uncut yeah. um the first cut yeah that's it um just a bit bewildered i remember getting to the end and thinking um, i need to watch that again because i actually just how long was it two two hours just in a daze the whole way through thinking wow what what, what have i just watched that's my story there like <laughs> crazy and my husband was sitting next to me and was just like should we watch it again I was like, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a surreal feeling it's a very surreal feeling especially when you've been on set and watched these things that happen and then seeing it on the screen almost looking entirely different it's a very bizarre feeling bizarre but good <laughs> Donc, on parle maintenant de l'adaptation de Tango, euh, Love Game en français de Emma Chase. Le premier livre donc, a été adapté euh, et on, euh, on voulait savoir si euh, c'était prévu d'adapter les deux suivants. Euh, ce n'est pas encore le cas euh, parce que Tosca n'a pas encore mis d'option pour pouvoir adapter euh, les, deux, les deux livres suivants. Elle veut voir comment ça se passe pour le premier et euh, au départ, pour faire Tango, elle a dû attendre d'avoir l'accord d'Emma Chase pour pouvoir le faire. Euh, ensuite, on demande à Jody euh, ce qu'elle a pensé de l'adaptation de The Protector. Euh, donc, elle a regardé une première fois le, le, first, le, le premier montage, pas la version finale. Elle a dû le re regarder, euh, le film durait deux heures, puis elle s'est dit wow. « waouh ». Et ensuite, elle a de nouveau re regardé avec son mari. Et, et elle a continué à le regarder. Et en fait, ce qui est intéressant, c'est qu'elle euh, a été présente sur le tournage et c'est intéressant de voir que les choses sont, sont, sont différentes euh, entre le tournage et sur l'écran. C'est différent, mais c'est intéressant. Hi, um, um, Jody, we would like to know if uh, which of the book from this month series is your favorite? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh. oh my god. Uh, they're, they're all special for different reasons. This man obviously being the first. Um, beneath, I think because we get to, we start seeing the vulnerable Jesse, the really vulnerable Jesse, um, especially at the end of this man. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that scene. Um, but yeah, the, and then of course confessed all the, the secrets start coming out and Jesse's terror and fears evolve across the books you know this man starts with him just meeting this woman who kickstarts his dead heart basically and he loves that feeling and he replaces drink and his hedonistic lifestyle with Ava and then in Beneath He knows she loves him and he, she knows he loves her. So then the fear of his past starts creeping in and, and then of course in Confessed when the poor man, he's got lots of skeletons in his closet, hasn't he? <laughs> Let's face it. But I couldn't, I couldn't possibly answer that. I can't, they're all, they're all very special to me. They're all special in every way. I didn't answer it, did I? <laughs> Quel est son tome préféré dans la saga euh, des semaines euh, Donc tout ça en rigolant dit que c'est comme choisir son enfant qu'on préfère. Euh, donc pour Jodie, chaque tome a, a une place spéciale dans son, son cœur pour une raison quelconque. Euh, le premier, ben, forcément, il a une place très particulière parce que c'est le premier. Dans ce, au fil de la saga, on voit le, le côté vulnérable de, du héros de Jesse et qui se voit déjà à la fin de des semaines. Euh, il doit affronter ses terreurs et ses peurs et il a une évolution du personnage. Quand il rencontre cette femme, euh, elle va en fait euh, faire battre à nouveau son cœur son qui était un peu mort. Elle le bouscule, donc il évolue, il comprend très bien qu'elle l'aime, mais les peurs reviennent au galop et il a des confessions à faire. Donc tous sont particuliers pour, euh, pour elle euh, par rapport à cette saga et l'évolution de ses personnages.
Okay, I have one question. We know who is going to be our Lord of the Manor, but who is going to be his <laughs> love interest? Our girl, Ava Shia. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah. we found her. <laughs> and did you make any chemistry tests yet? Come on, give us yep. more. We did that too. <laughs> <laughs> Tosca's like, <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, um, I put it in the, the group, she's awesome. Um, she's everything Ava should be and is. And her and Tyler together, I just, she's got the sass as well that Ava needs. So she's, yeah, she's really cool. I think both with Tyler and this lovely lady that we'll be meeting <laughs> soon. <laughs> um, they are, they are both so excited to do, to, pick, to play these characters and give these characters the respect they deserve. And they're so excited to do the best job. So they're already rehearsing together. And um, yeah, so it's, I'm very lucky as a director to work with two actors that are that determined to do a great job. I think it's the, um, sorry. What for me is special is seeing how invested they are in the characters and how much they want to know about the characters and how many questions, really intelligent questions they have. They don't just want to walk on set and read lines. They want to relate to Jesse and Ava and that, that's going to take it to another level. Nous ne savons pas qui va incar incarner l'héroïne de Westman. On demande donc s'il y a une, vraie, une réelle alchimie entre les deux acteurs. Euh, pour Jodie, elle est plus qu'elle recherchait chez une actrice pour incarner son personnage. Elle a ce côté cool, ce côté un peu sassy et rebelle. Euh, pour Tosca, donc elle ne veut pas donner le nom, bien entendu. Euh, elles sont, les deux acteurs sont, ont, ont hâte d'incarner leur personnage et de, leur, de, de, de les incarner avec respect. Euh, un respect qu'ils méritent. Euh, ils ont fait des répétitions, répétitions ensemble et il, euh, elle est heureuse en tant que réalisatrice euh, d'avoir ces acteurs-là pour son adaptation. Euh, C'est vraiment très particulier parce qu'ils sont investis dans leur personnage, on sent la, leur passion, ils posent des questions et euh, dans, au niveau des répliques, ils veulent vraiment euh, être euh, en accord avec leur personnage et ce que le personnage ferait. Alors, bonsoir. Donc, j'aurais deux questions sur les romans de Madame Angélie et Madame Malpass. Euh, je voulais savoir sur la trilogie euh, One Night, est-ce que ce sera un jour adapté par euh, Passion Flix Et la deuxième question sur la trilogie euh, One Night, euh, est-ce qu'il sera envisagé euh, une adaptation en langue française un jour euh, par une version française parce que ces romans-là ne sont pas traduits en France. Bon, après, je me débrouille pas mal à l'écrire en anglais, mais c'était pour euh, d'autres personnes pour qu'ils puissent découvrir ces romans-là. Voilà, merci. Your books are not all um, translated into French, so she would like to know uh, for uh, the series One Man, One Night, One Night, sorry, uh, if it's going to be adapted on Passion Fix, and for uh, This Man, um, it's a question about translation. Okay, so this man will work. No, I'm sorry, I understand everything. She wanted to know if one day uh, Passion Fix will be available, but on French, in French, not with French subtitles, but all French. Um, so we're working on getting this man uh, translated into French, and hopefully that will happen soon. Um, and as for one night, um, I don't know, Tosca. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, give me a pen. I'll write a contract right now. Um, uh, we have not looked into dubbing because that's what we would have to do. We'd have to dub every movie into, right now we're in nine languages, so nine subtitle languages. So it's just something that we will have to look into later on because it's very, very expensive. 
Donc la Saga Vesman sera prochainement peut-être traduit en français, en tout cas on est sur le chemin. Euh, pour One Night, l'adaptation euh, sur page Netflix euh, pour préférer à Tosca. Et euh, pour, euh, donc, Tosca répond à la question sur le fait d'avoir la version française et pas sous-titrée en français. C'est quelque chose qui coûte très très cher, donc peut-être plus tard, mais pour l'instant, euh, on se contente entre guillemets d'avoir les sous-titres en français, ce qui est déjà vraiment bien. Yes, sir. I have a general domain question for Tosca. So the actors, they have to do physical scenes as well, like take off their clothes and get <laughs> naked. How do the actors do that? Is that hard for them to do such scenes? I've always wanted to know, that's why I ask. <laughs> It is very hard for them to do, especially for women, because so many people take screenshots of women and then they will post them on the internet and they'll put them up on um, other sites with complete lack of respect or regard for them. And so that's what their concern is, more that it's more the pirating and taking pictures of them and posting them on the web. Um, but it's, so it's a movie. So they're not completely naked and they're not actually performing any of these acts. <laughs> um, and if you could see the first cuts, I'm speaking throughout the entire thing. So I will say everything. Put your hand on her jaw, have it go down underneath the chin, down the head, go down the chest, go to her hip. It's my voice that's directing them constantly over and over again, I'll say, do it again. Hand goes to the jaw, goes down it, and, and then the camera will just follow the one movement. And so it's these different close-ups that you do. And most of the time, if you see my stuff, I'm focusing on the actors' faces and then kissing, because I like reactions more than anything else, and then body parts. Donc là, on aborde le sujet euh, des scènes euh, intimes et euh, comment ça se passe pour les acteurs. Est-ce qu'ils sont complètement nus Est-ce que c'est difficile Comment on tourne ce genre de scène Donc euh, Tosca confirme que c'est très très dur à tourner, euh, pas en particulier pour les femmes, hein, parce qu'il euh, y a ce phénomène de faire des captures d'écran euh, qu'on partage sur Internet et euh, ce n'est pas très respectueux des acteurs et de leur corps. C'est une forme de piratage hein, puisque ce sont des scènes, des, des photos de, des scènes du film. Alors bien entendu, c'est un film, donc ils ne sont pas réellement euh, nus et ils ne font pas vraiment à l'amour. Euh, c'est vraiment pas des actes physiques. Et en fait, Tosca parle tout le temps, tout le temps. Si on regarde les, les scènes behind the scenes, c'est euh, on la voit parler, elle explique, elle donne ses directions, ses, euh, met ta main ici, fait ceci, fait cela. Elle, elle parle constamment et la caméra en fait suit le mouvement. <laughs> I think, you know, with that, I'm going to shift gears a little bit and go into the screening of Gabriel's Rapture Part 2. Have you all seen the entire series so far? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Great. So, as you know, Gabriel's Rapture Part 2 premiered mm -hmm. last, last week. Oh my gosh. On the 24th. Yes, just last week. Can't believe that. Um, So we're happy to screen that with you tonight, and then we will come back up here after part two for um, a Q&A with Tosca about that film, and maybe we can bring Jody back up since I think there was still a few more questions. Thank you all for coming. This is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.